So that means we're going to jump on to Buffalo. And again, if you guys have any comments, questions, please feel free to add them in there. Uh, but uh, we had Boston and Detroit. That's Chris. So we have five teams to go here. I'll start with the Buffalo Sabres, which was me. So uh, this is uh, this was not easy um, because I think there's a number of different ways that you can go. Uh, but the forwards, Jack Eichel, Sam Reinhart, Victor Olofsson, uh, I think those are no-brainers. Um, Jeff Skinner is an unfortunate no-brainer, too, because he has a no-movement clause. Uh, Anders Bork, I think that that's going to be – I know that that's going to be a bit of a controversial one, but he's the guy that they got for Taylor Hall. I do think he's got some goal-scoring ability, so that's why I went him. Cody Eakin I still think has some potential as well. And I went with Casey Middlestat. Um, that would be the, the reason I went there is I think that that would be, it's either my, between middle stat and Thompson. And I think Seattle's going to be interested in both. And if, uh, if I can see if I can get something for Casey middle stat, which I think would, he would work very well in Seattle. I would like to do that. And then defenseman, I went Darlene, Ritzelan and Miller, Yoki Haru, uh, on that end as well. I think I screwed that up though. You did. Okay. So my my apologies. Okay, let me fix this quickly. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna you go didn't, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop Yoki Haro. Oh, I did drop Yoki Haro. Okay, correct. You're right. Yeah. I dropped Yoki Haro and kept Linus Allmark. I know that he's not I he's probably not going to sign in Buffalo. Uh, but that's not I do think that that's someone you probably ultimately want to protect. And Yoki Haru has been a guy of potential. So Let's me do that again. Eichel, Reinhardt, Olofsson, Eichel, Middlestat, Skinner, and Bork, Dahlin, Ritzlanen, and Miller, defense, and Linus uh, Ulmark as the goaltender. Uh, on the forwards there, I don't think I would uh, protect Cody Eakin. I think I would uh, go uh, either Tage Thompson. Um, yeah, actually, no, I would go with Tate Thompson over Eakin. Uh, he's 30 years old. Uh, you don't have that much, um, uh, team control within, uh, within him. He's a UFA after this year. So overall that that's where I go with the forwards. Otherwise I'm, I'm on board with you. Uh, it's a bit of a different story on the back end. You, you left Jake McCabe, uh, exposed. He's 27. Um, yes, he's a UFA this year, but I feel like he's very, uh, attached to this organization considering they drafted him. Um, and then you do have uh, Yoki Haru, who is 22 years old. He's a right shot defenseman, which is ridiculously hard to find. Um, Yoki Haru, he was a uh, quarterback in that uh, number one power play um, in Car or, uh, in Chicago. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a hard thing to, to really go away from him, especially with the Colin Miller. Uh, being a UFA after this next series, 20 years old, and oh, man, it. I, I understand your thought process behind it all, but those are the two uh, with Jake McCabe and uh, Henry Yoki Haru that would be um, kind of contentious on my part. Um, Go ahead, Tyler. In regards to Eakin, I mean, you could also maybe consider leaving him exposed and protecting Gergensen's. I mean, Gergensen's is about the same price, but under contract for one more year and a couple of years younger, also a center. Uh, but this is like a number of other, let's say, weaker teams. I mean, you, you can you can debate a, a number of these selections. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the, the big one for me is Tate Thompson. I think he is a, a big part of that future in, in Buffalo. Uh, a lot of the, the, the big pieces in, in Buffalo are, 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 are still young. Um, and I think he, he's part of that. I, Devin, you, I think I, I completely agree with you with uh, um, Tage Thompson over Cody Eakin. Um, but uh, it's it's one of those things where you just have, you, you got to find a way to protect your assets as well. I know there's a lot of talk that uh, um, there's a there's a lot of talk on um, on Ristolainen wanting out, but you got to protect it and yeah. It, it, and find a way to get assets for him. It's it's yeah. I, I other than other than Thompson for Eakin, I, I I think that that list is pretty pretty solid there, Kev. I it's tough too because you're you you yeah. It's it's the other side of that is with with like not protecting Cody Eakin. Fine, okay, but you don't have. There's not a lot of veteran preference in Buffalo, and you still will need that. And I think you look at a middle stat and a wrist line, and as an example, I think that that's someone that 
if 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 they are exposed, Seattle wants to take, and you are going to lose them. So, but it's yeah, a yeah. It, it's not an easy list for sure. You definitely have a Dustin Tatarski from the uh, from trying to you know uh, <laughs> emulate uh, uh, Pierre Maguire. Uh, back in whenever that was of uh, uh, maybe 20, uh, 20, 2010 World Junior, I think, or 2009 World Junior. Yeah, right around there. Yeah, hey, yeah. I'm totally joking, obviously, but uh, I think Allmark is, is a good pick. 